deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Welcome to BXT, episode 15, by the way. I don't know how the hell we got to this point of BXT, but real quick, I just want to say thank you guys, uh, especially for some of the people who have jumped into BXT and are trying to help us out with BXT as much as possible. Um, I want to thank you guys because, honestly, I never expected to get to 15 episodes of BXT, like, ever. I expected maybe the first couple... That was it, but then not even that. I also didn't expect uh, a lot of people coming into PXT. I didn't expect uh, new people coming in left and right, and I think that's uh, I think that's awesome, and um, it's cool. <laughs> it's awesome. It's it's fucking awesome. But then um, also one other thing I want to let you guys know is that we are going to be doing. Um, well, I am going to be starting to like sponsor and. Not sponsor. Um, what is it? Promote MTW. If you guys don't know what MTW is, it is uh, D Mobs Online Wrestling League. Uh, they have their own show. Episode one is actually out now. I did the edits for that one. I do recommend going and checking out MTW uh, Mountaintop Wrestling. If you guys have trouble finding it, um, the first episode is out. Already has a ton of views. Actually, let's see how many views are on there already. Thirty-five views in only five days, which is actually phenomenal. Uh, for MTW, I think that's awesome, and it's a full-on uh, league as well. So if you guys do play uh, WWE 2K, you guys can actually go on there and um, boom, check it out. But with that said, uh, we're gonna jump into the show here tonight. So last or the past couple weeks with Michael Wolf and Satoshi, um, they have been sort of, or at least Satoshi has been challenged to a war, if you will, or into. Uh, Team combat? I really don't know what to call it. With the Syndicate and what Michael Wolf is calling the Unholy. Um, as far as we know, we haven't seen exactly who is going to be in the Unholy, as far as we know. I do mean that. We, we don't know who's on the Unholy team. We don't know who's on Satoshi's team. We, we don't know at all. The only thing that is definite is that the two captains of each team, I guess you could say, are definite, which is Michael Wolf and Satoshi Makoto will be in Absolute Carnage. Uh, when Absolute Carnage, that is our War Games uh, variation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off the night with... Oh, hello. What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who... Ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we have just found out who is going to be in the Unholy at PXT Carnage. That is Michael Wolf with Devil, and I, I can't make out who the other man is. This is shocking because this is literally Devil. Aligning himself with someone like Michael Wolf, which is actually a first for Devil. He's never actually aligned himself with someone with Michael Wolf's goals, if you will. Here. 
and the devil just bringing the flames of hell to PXC. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the unholy has been confirmed. It is the team of... I really can't tell who the third man is. Wait, I am... I am getting word. This man is Jacob Tristan Wildfire. Wow, nine day difference. Honestly, could not tell who that was. So it is the team of Michael Wolf, Devil, and Jacob... Twisted Wildfire, the TikTok champion as the Unholy. And Satoshi just coming in to a full-on solo fight here, if you will. Satoshi not really showing any fear right now. Surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly, not showing any fear. Now, for people who don't know or who did not watch last week's episode of PXC, last week's episode of PXC, Satoshi, uh, I'm going to use air quotes here, fired his last associate, uh, Ace, from the syndicate. And now it is Michael Wolf versus Satoshi. Oh, look at this, Satoshi. Okay, Satoshi new to block. Already gets Michael Wolf in the corner and gets him with a big forearm in the corner. Oh, big punch there. But does nothing. Right now, right now, surprisingly, Satoshi is showing no fear to Michael Wolf. Oh, beautiful senton. Satoshi doing a beautiful job. Keep oh no, there it is. Big gut shot with those studs from Michael Wolf. Oh! Big knee to the face, and oh my god, already getting Satoshi up, and oh no, okay, oh, I thought he was setting up for an Alabama slam, but no, and Dan drops him on his head, knee first, knee first on his head, there you go, oh, big boot to the face, oh, my Wolf's gonna try to take him to advance, but Satoshi's not gonna have it, oh, she, running back, oh, beautiful neck breaker right there, Ooh, big punch right now. Oh, another beautiful neck breaker. I think Satoshi may have found a weakness of Michael Wolf, possibly. Possibly. Because you notice he was really focusing on the neck there. Oh, oh, it's going for a big... Bad. I don't even think that was going to connect, honestly. Oh! It will need... Knee drop? <laughs> gonna say, just going to say a knee drop, even though it's not really a knee drop. <laughs> No, no, I think a knee drops like when you jump and then you land like on the person with the knee. Oh, look at this. Satoshi going in for a little submission work on Michael Wolf. Now, note Satoshi does have numerous submission victories in PXC. But Michael Wolf's not going to have it. Oh, oh, okay. I, I thought he was going to hit the big boo, but it looks like this. Oh, but connects off that big bicycle kick. Oh, sets him up again for another. Oh, okay, again, got fooled. <laughs> Thought he was setting up for an Alabama slam, but again, sets him up for a maneuver that dropped from head first on Michael Wolf's knee. There you go, that's a better way to fucking describe that move. And right now, Michael Wolf is just having pure control of this match. Oh, going for the pin, but Satoshi's long legs were long enough to save him from the pin. Oh, catches the super kick attempt. Elbow to the knee. Punishing Wolf for the super kick attempt. Goes under. Oh, beautiful elbow to the face of Michael Wolf. Ooh, no, again, another beautiful neck breaker. It looks like Satoshi is wanting to keep eyes on the neck breaker only, only because he wants to damage the neck as much as possible. Mainly because it sets him up for his finishing maneuver. Oh. Oh my god, and hits and hits the mist with the Pele. Not got out Pele, but with with a kick. Punt. Oh, gets a two count off Michael Wolf though. That's actually pretty good. Michael Wolf's not gonna have it. 
It looks like the crowd's already A-OK -okay with the match. Selling both men to fight forever here. Michael Wolf sending Satoshi outside the ring. It looks like Michael Wolf's trying to go flying here. No! Not, not as flying as we thought. <laughs> Hits him with a diving drop kick, I guess? What, what, what would you call that? Outside dive drop kick? Oh, wait. Oh! Devil, Devil standing ringside, putting a little bit of fear in Satoshi right there. Satoshi saw Devil running at him, and it put fear in, into the eyes of Satoshi. Holy shit, honestly, I didn't get scared too. You see Devil running at you? <laughs> that looks like that might have helped Michael Wolf here. He gets a two count, but does not secure the win. That was a <laughs> that was an interesting exchange, and because of that, it gave Michael Wolf the edge. Oh wait, but look, Satoshi's not looking to stay down. Oh, gets Michael Wolf up. Oh, and again goes for the mist and switches it to the punt. And now goes for the pin. Is that enough to put Michael Wolf down? No. You gotta get past the Michael Wolf somehow. He's he's surviving not just the miss, but he's surviving that hellacious punt of Satoshi. Oh, oh, try and go for something big, and now looks like Satoshi is reversing. And so is Michael Wolf. Both men just getting out of each other's moves, and oh, big splash there for Michael Wolf. Mainly because of the body weight. Oh. A wolf getting him all was trying to set up a possibly a pile driver, but gets reversed into an Alabama slam. And right now it is all Satoshi. Satoshi looking to gain the advantage. Oh, uh oh, here it is! He's calling it bankrupt! Is he gonna make Michael Wolf tap? Ladies and gentlemen, Satoshi! <laughs> Why, wait, hold up. How come the other two men aren't coming in? Satoshi picks up a huge upset victory. He just beat Michael Wolf. What the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Ladies and gentlemen, Satoshi Makoto just picked up the biggest, and I do mean the biggest, upset victory here in PXT by picking up a win against Michael Wolf. Holy shit, real quick, we're going to update the books because I'll admit I have been falling behind on keeping up with this book. Well, either way, congratulations to Satoshi Makoto on picking up the big victory here. Man, that, that actually is big. Holy shit. But now we are going on to our next match. So, last week, Gen X was pretty much proclaiming that he is the next man in line, or correction, he was the next man in line for C. Jill's championship. But because of last week with Desmond Flood, that was turned in, that match was technically a number one contenders match, which means Desmond Flood will be facing C. Jill at PXD Carnage. And no, this, that match is technically going to be in a cage Question is, what type of cage is going to be? That's an excellent question. But with that, Gen X uh, got dropped to the bottom of the line. And, well, from what you can assume, Gen X is uh, not happy with it. And, again, Drew Jeffrey tried to try to cheer up Gen X, if you will. Gen X did not appreciate it. <laughs> and now they have a match here tonight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight it is Drew Jeffrey versus Gen X. Oh shit. I dropped the pan. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Drew Jeffrey coming in with his lavishing wife, Emma Jeffrey. That's right, the dashing and the lavishing. Ra ravishing. Ra ravishing? Ravishing. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> Holy fuck, I stole it. No. <laughs> He got caught on camera. Fuck! 
Either way, for people who don't know, Emma Jeffrey is the first signee, the first female talent signee of PXT. And soon we hope to start a females division here, and we're going to probably start it off with an actual tournament this time around like what we didn't do at abyss for the tag team titles that was the original plan but because of abyss being as uh, sporadic as it is i think it was the perfect time to introduce those type of titles and i'm glad that the team of mox and maki makoto are our inaugural tag team champs but now we got to focus on what's going on here honestly i i don't know if i could say this is Drew's biggest challenge. Reason I say that is because, really, if you think about it, Jenix. Jenix really hasn't done a lot <laughs> in PXT. If you really think about it, so it did feel a little strange that he was next in line for the PXT Championship. But now he uh, he got dropped to the second or the runner up. So now. Uh, depending on what happens at PXC Carnage, he could either be facing, well, correction, it does depend in this case. So either he will be facing C. Jill, or he'll have to uh, have to earn another shot later down the road. Oh, look at that, Jennings is going on Hall. Oh, fire, but Drew Jeffrey reversing it, taking advantage. And again, continues to take advantage. Drew Jeff, this is actually the first time we're seeing Drew actually take advantage in a match in quite a while. Usually, he goes back and forth at the beginning, but this time, Drew Jeffrey is actually doing a lot, a lot of control. Holy fuck. Look at this, damaging the arm of Genix. I think probably realizing that Genix is more of a striker and wanting to take away a little bit of his power. Look at this. Drew is just not giving Genix the time of day here. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful reversal from... Oh, it was a beautiful knee, actually. Oh, oh, both men dodging each other's moves. Both men dodging... Oh, wait. True Jeffy winning the exchanges of dodging. He wins the exchanges and now getting the advantage and sends him flying. Ooh, another beautiful kick from Gen X. That's one thing you gotta watch out from Genix. You gotta watch out for any of his striking moves because he hits like a semi, practically. Last week, he went... God. God, how do I describe last week? Genix went to the absolute limit against Desmond Flood. Now, don't get me wrong. He did not pick up the victory, but he showed how much he does want to move up here in PXC. Ooh, big reversal. Now the question is, can he show that again here tonight against the Dashing Dragon? Ooh, big knee shot. My God. Straight to the face of Drew Jeffrey. Oh, look at this. Sets him up. Setting him up for an Alabama slam. And Gen X thinking that's enough. Is that enough to put down the Dashing Dragon? No, nowhere close. Genix sending him to the ropes. Oh, goes over. Goes under. What's Genix planning here? Oh! Sends him flying with a beautiful knee shot, but Genix going straight to the top. Oh, no. Okay, Genix. Genix playing mind games with Drew Jeffrey here. I think Drew is getting ready to defend an outside dive, but Genix was just playing around and continues to do it here tonight. Oh, ooh, miss, was that? I don't know if he was going for a drop kick or a senton, but Drew Jeffrey did not connect that. Uh oh, look at this. Gen X now coming in with the big strikes. Oh, big arm to the corner. And now, another big clothesline. And Gen X is fired up. Gen X fired up, looking to possibly put down Drew Jeffrey. Ooh, big knee shot. And oh, was going to get another big knee shot, but Drew quickly gets out of it. Oh, Drew was trying to go for the clothesline. Missed it. Came up a little bit short. Oh, beautiful reversal, making him damage his knee a little bit. Now, Drew Jeffrey coming in with a vintage. Wait, no, no, no. He's going for the dashing stop. 
Is that enough to put down Genix? Technically, that move did take out Jacob Tristan Wildfire. But Rocky Mercado took the win on that victory a couple weeks ago when Drew made his in-ring debut here at PXC. Tonight, though, it is not enough to put down Gen X. Dashing Stomp was nowhere near enough. Ooh! Ooh! God, I hate that move because it looks like the fingers just fucking get snapped when he does it. Right now, from what I can... Oh my god, he's going for it again? I can't... God, I hate we are looking at it. One thing I can confirm, though, is that this is the first time we're seeing Drew take control of a match a good majority of the time. Usually it's either back or forth, or he is getting absolutely controlled. So this is possibly showing a little bit of skill on Drew Jeffrey. Oh, Gen X being thrown back in the middle of the ring. Now Drew just taunting about picking the match. Oh, the big kick across the chest. That's what I'm talking about with Gen X pulling everything out. Still not enough to put down Drew Jeffrey, though. Oh, Gen X looking to possibly put down the dashing dragon. Here's ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Next Gen. Is that enough to put down the dashing dragon? One, two, no, Drew Jeffrey kicks out. Man, like I said, you got I gotta give props to Drew Jeffrey. He's actually showing everything he got this time around. He is taking control of the match. He's showing why he's here at PXC. And he's showing why he deserves to be here at PXC. Also want to point out that was that was a nightfall for more PXC champion. Is Drew Jeffrey possibly calling out here? Is he doing a call out here? Oh, beautiful gut wrench suplex. Oh, Drew dragging Gen X. Oh, he was dragging him to the middle of the ring. I don't know if he was setting something or what, but Gen X was already coming back from being a little bit taken aback. You know, going over. Oh, not going under this time. I think Gen X realizing he needs to finish this match pretty fucking quickly at this point. Oh, big punch from Drew. Oh, and Drew coming in with an Explorer Suplex! Like I said, Drew is taking pure control of this match. It's something we are not 100% used to. We are normally used to Drew either going a back and forth match or him being completely controlled. And it looks like Drew is ready to possibly end things here with Jodax! And it's so big that it made the man bust open! It busted Genix wide open. <laughs> that was the diving dragon claw. <laughs> God damn it, clawed the shit out of him. And it looks like... Oh, is he gonna go? He think he's going for it again? Here is the dashing dragon. Stop! Yeah, that, that has to be it. I believe Genix is out. Not only did the, the Dragon Claw put him down, the Diving Dragon Claw, but I think the Dashing Stop- No! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Genix is still going! How? Holy shit! Okay, this is only two weeks in a row. Genix is actually like doing stuff this is insane and it looks like it looks like drew is going for a cross face looking to put him down and make him tap out well as we know i don't believe we've seen gen x ever tap out here in pxc oh look at this and Audi gets out of it and punches drew into the gut getting out of the maneuver oh gets him with a twisting neck breaker and now gen x has control of the match again Ooh, big clothesline there Gen X is, I think Gen X is finding something inside him at this point, because somehow, some way, he is not giving up here. He got caught in a cross phase. He got caught in two dashing dragon stomps. Dashing dragon stomps. DDSs. There you go. We'll call it that. That sounds way better. <laughs> he got caught in two DDSs. And somehow, he did not go down. But then not just that, he got hit with a diving dragon claw. Oh!
Then, but again, Drew is just taking pure control of the match. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on with Gen X for him to like actually be just coming back at these type of matches. But holy shit! Look at this. He he's just not staying down. Gen X has some fighting spirit inside him. Oh shit! He already has him up for a Gen X. The next Gen. That is the second next Gen. Is that another put Drew Jeffrey down? One, two. No! Oh my god! <laughs> Even the crowd's calling for him, for him to try it one more time! One more time to put him down! Oh, but it's caught a big bicycle kick! And, oh, look at that! Surprisingly, Jenix is listening to the crowd! He believes he needs to do it one more time! Oh, he's trying to set something up, but no, Drew's not allowing him to get more damage in. He's not allowing him to get more damage in. Hits him with a big punch. This could be Drew's chance. Hits him with an exploder. And Gen X wisely rolls out of the ring. And oh, another tra dragon claw from the top to the outside. Oh. And now Gen X getting a little frustrated now. Just letting it all out. Oh, calm down. I'm here now. Hello. Hey Shane, how you doing? And somehow, some way, Gen X is a. I, I, I don't know what's going on with Gen X, man. He, he has a fighting spirit in him. <laughs> Gen X going to the top. Goes for a big. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> he landed that shit. Lands it on the back of Drew Jeffrey. Gen X tossing Drew to the ropes. Goes over. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful power slam. Rather Gen Z win the Drew Gen. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, honestly, Drew has been taking pure control of this match, which is a little, little unusual to see from Drew, at least. But Gen, God, dude, Gen X is not staying down. <laughs> Drew tries to set him up when he's down, but oh, oh, I think, I think the shots are now. I think the damage is now showing because Gen X just shot wildly there. <laughs> oh, Drew looking to make a big rally. Is that enough to put Gen X down? Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, no, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, he's still going. What's, oh, I believe. No, he's going for an old fashioned sharpshooter. But Jenix not done, dude! What's going on with Jenix? Dude, Jenix has some fighting spirit in him. What the hell? He has some goddamn fighting spirit in him. Did Jenix like find something in him? What's going on? Oh, the dashing elbow! And Je again, Jenix thinking hella wise here, rolling out of the ring, but Drew's not giving him a second. Oh, big brain buster. This is insane. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, again, Drew is just, Drew's just taking control of this match at this point. He, he has had a good, good high percentage of control in this match. I don't know if I worded that right, but Drew has had control the entire fucking time. Well, I didn't even know Drew was busted open. <laughs> well, it looks like Drew going for an old fashioned sharpshooter once again, looking to get the tap out, and Gen X taps out. Honestly, holy shit. <laughs> I think Gen X has brought me back on his side. The mock stuff happened, but that's behind him. I, I, I agree. I think this is. I think we're probably seeing. A rise of Gen X, but sadly he did not pick up the victory here. Either way, congratulations, Drew Jeffrey. I believe this is actually, well, actually, yeah, let me can do this real quick before I forget. I gotta update the books here because uh, I've been forgetting and doing it later, and I sort of need to start doing it again like I used to. But now we are going to be going on to the tag team division because last week Shane Henry was not able to pick up a win against Super, but because of that. Jack was uh, trying, you know, just trying to cheer up Shane. Because Shane, it's it sort of fucked him up a little bit. Ty and Lowe came in laughing, being like, how are you laughing, stock? <laughs> All that shit. Uh, Jack did not take kind to those type of words and has challenged Titan to one on one action here tonight. So that's why it is Jack Flow versus.
Titan here tonight with Shane and Super from both teams at ringside. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match of the evening. What did I ever update? I don't think I did. Fuck. <laughs> I just remembered I didn't update his entrance. Fuck. <laughs> to be fair, this still works too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this man will make you feel the flow. Whether you like it or not, you will feel the flow. You will sh. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> Lower will cage you, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> you should have saved that till Carnage. <laughs> that sort of like full cage pay per view. That would have been perfect. Goddamn. <laughs> well, when PXE Carnage flow will cage you. <laughs> Goddamn it. That's actually that's actually a real good one. So, from what people or for new people that don't know, Jack Flow has actually done exceptionally well here in PXT. Now when I say that, I mean that he, I believe he's only lost once here in PXT, now thinking about it. Now with that said here, can he put down a Titan? Now for people who don't know, with these two again, these two were former uh, number one contenders for the PXT YouTube Championship. Titan was the first man to challenge CGO for the title. Came up short in possibly the quickest, <laughs> big, quickest Big Show match ever <laughs> in PXT. And then Super challenged CGO at Hellfire to where he did make, bring in a fight, but it just was not enough to put down CGO. Both men did disagree with each other at one point, mainly with uh, Super being high and mighty. But now both men found equal grounds, and now they are known as the Nation of Domination. Super was able to pick up a win against Shane last week. But in tag team action, the team of the outcasts, Flo and Shane, did pick up the victory. Now this said, can Jack? Oh, okay, both men trying to go in big, big moves in there from their arsenals. Straight off the bat. Titan gained the advantage, but Flo not letting him keep it. For too long, uh, Titan saying, fuck that, he's gonna get it back. <laughs> I ain't getting the control back. Now, no, I do want to point this out. With tag teams, at least with these two teams, it's more rock, paper, scissors to where Titan did struggle against Shane to whereas Flo might be struggling against Titan for a little bit. Oh, hey, well, maybe I spoke too soon because look at this. Flo already getting Titan in a quick submission hold, but Titan's using his strength to push himself up and get out of the maneuver with a series of punches to the face. Better than his brother. I wouldn't say better than his brother. It's technically uh, <laughs> the old brotherhood, me and my brother. Yeah, they suck. Look at that. Yeah, oh, big punch there, big shots there. And now a quick GDT! <laughs> Jack's already getting, already taking control back very quickly of this match and now stretching the arm of Titan while you're looking to take away a little bit of the arm strength there, but Titan does it. You can't do that to Titan. <laughs> Titan says you take away arm strength. Now, fuck that. No, that's not how he sounds, but still. Titan showing great strength here against Jack Flo. Honestly, this is actually a first. Usually Jack also takes a little bit more control in the matches, but right now right now he is getting absolutely dominated here by Titan. Oh, again, maybe I spoke too soon. Good strategy by going for the legs. I agree on that. Now, if he goes for the legs, it does actually take away uh, Titan's Oh, are we talking about Titan taking away uh, Jack's legs? Because I think, I think if anything, both men in this case... 
Well, no, I would say Titan more. Mainly because Titan does have Olympus Falls, which is his uh, pile driver like maneuver. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Beautiful suplex. On the outside. In other words, I don't know how Titan is still here. He should be dead. Oh, super super. <laughs> Doing shades of, of the Satoshi and Michael Wolves match earlier to where they were on the outside. Devil literally sprinted towards Satoshi, putting fear in the man's eyes, giving Michael Wolf a little bit of an advantage. It was fucking hilarious. Oh, big DDT from Flo to Titan. And no. No what? Ooh. Oh, wait, ladies and gentlemen, we are at a count of five, and Titan is back in the ring. Okay, but, okay, he breaks up the count, though. Ooh, big punch, big punch. Flo coming back at it with series of punches. Oh, setting up Titan for a power moment. Oh, correction, hits it with a Canadian drop. He hits it with a Canadian destroyer. I call it Canadian driver, but it's really Canadian destroyer. Holy shit, how is Titan still alive? Oh, oh, shit. Titan's dead. <laughs> Never mind, he's still standing. The back of his head looked like it hit the fucking still steps, dude. Low is very I agile, sorry. Goes for dies and springboards when he needs to, that's true. Oh wait, but Titan using his spine strength! And is that another put down, Jack Flo? No, gets a two count. Oh, but Titan, Titan looks to be setting up for the Olympus Falls. That, that might actually put Jack out of commission. One, two, no, Jack is still going. I gotta give this to Jack Flo. He, he is hella resilient as well. Oh, oh, holy shit, holy shit. He stopped him with a fucking choke slam and then just fucking proceeded to choke slam him. Holy shit. Oh wait, John going for flow of motion. Is that enough to put down Titan? Is Titan gonna tap out here tonight? Titan looks to be struggling a little bit here. Flo's not really putting a lot of pressure there. Oh I think he was paying for it a little there. Because now Titan's getting advantage. Gets Flow up and drops him all over. On top rope. Not over, but onto the top rope. Correction. And now Flow rolls out of the ring. And Titan's going to the top. That's the good. Okay, never mind. Okay, I thought he was going to go for like a full body splash there. And he's going in with a big double. Axel. Two. The outside now stops on the chest. Of Flo. I believe that's the name of the mood over, by the way. I could be wrong on that. Double axe handle? Uh, double axe handle. That's the name of it. I call it Axel because I, I keep thinking of Curtis Axel because I think that was his like, maneuver for a while. Oh! Oh! Big move there from Titan! I think that's that's something new from his... Oh, Flo! Flo! Big! The smart rig veteran that he is goes for the rope! Oh, he quickly rolls out. Look at this. Just fucking with Titan, if you will. Oh, but he might be paying for it. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hey, who put, who put the fucking tax on the apron? <laughs> God damn. That one shot. Now, either this tax on our apron or Flo just doesn't have enough iron in his body. Oh, big choke slam to the... Sunring side. Holy shit, dude. He is busted from that one move on the apron. Holy shit. Is that a count of five, but both men are making back to the middle of the ring. And it looks like, again. Oh, shit. That was the Titan fall. <laughs> okay, we're going to be 100% for real. That was 100% valid on why Flo could not get out of that. So now, now this is interesting, ladies and gentlemen. God damn, we got like a full view of that too. 
like a full on like view of that just drop on the head. Holy shit. Uh, we need we need medical <laughs> we, need, we need medical team on weak side like now <laughs> so before the next match because our next match is actually a division placement match we do want to promote something new so far what we've been doing with pxc is that we've been promoting we're well, not promoting it pretty much recruiting from xbox recruiting parties recruiting parties that was called look for group there you go look for group that's how we've been getting a lot of our newer talents in pxc we want to open that door to everyone in other words pc playstation is this bitch on switch so we want to open up that door so we have actually decided to make finally a discord server that's right uh it is pxt backstage we're pretty much setting it up to where y'all guys can come in there talk about wrestling of course uh we're probably gonna have some watch parties in there in the later down the future if i am actually free to watch a goddamn pay-per-view on the weekend we are planning on doing that and then not just that we're also going to be doing uh that's how we're going to be doing our big show commentary team as well because uh, we found out that uh, if you guys don't remember Abyss, Abyss, there was a lot of delay with the commentary team because they were watching it through YouTube, and YouTube, when it's live streaming, there's a big ass delay and all that stuff. But yes, uh, that's that's pretty much how we're going to be going forward with PXT because uh, I think it would be a lot more fun having literally like every, that door just open in general. One thing I do want to try doing is like having a full on community for PXT. That's why we're calling it PXT Backstage. Um, we do have some, we did set some rules about like submitting now, so we do have some minor rules. I won't say like they're bad, but they're like like decent. It's like more like that your character's gonna be in there. Um, if anything, all we ask is that you guys be open to changes, only because with some characters, since they already have things claimed, changes might need to be made. But with that said, we'll see what we can do. We'll try working as best as possible with everyone, because even uh, Jane is in here, Rocky's in here. Um, we're trying to get Demon. <laughs> All those guys are going to be in the Discord server. They will be able to like help you guys out as much as possible. Um, and not just that, we will, just like with Shane just reminded me right now, we are going to be doing uh, promos in there too. So if you guys do upload your character on there, uh, we are going to be doing promos through there for the edited versions of the actual episodes. Um, yeah, y'all guys can contact him, me, or Rocky because they're going to be the admins and uh, the PXT as the starting admins. In other words, we'll, we'll try to extend it more. Um, so if you guys ever have problems in the Discord server, you guys can contact them. Uh, again, that probably won't be up till actually the first episode. I'll have a link in the description for that. So just a heads up on that. But we are setting it up till then the door is full on open. By the way, um, that's, what's, uh, that's what the plan is with it. That's what we're going to be going forward with. And the reason we brought it up now is because we are having our division placement match. That's right. We already know one man that's in this match. Y'all guys saw him last week. He went one-on-one -on -one against Devil himself and actually kicked his fucking ass, Jack Daniels. But his opponent is someone we have yet to see. Yeah, I didn't see a chiropractor. Like my, my hands and everything are fucked. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Jack Daniels. <laughs> He's drunk here again. There's a reason why he has the thing covering his back. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Don't be wrong. The, the Oh yeah, you can get me wrong. The name's just funny, man. <laughs> I just keep thinking about the fucking drink, man. Well, yeah, we do still have ideas for the OGs. That's right, if anything, we're gonna be just getting rid of a few slowly. He's Jeff Hardy! What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that's, that's slowly just sunk in my head! You motherfucker! <laughs> oh god damn it! <laughs> hey look! Hey! 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 Look! He, he, might, he might be better! <laughs> he, might, he might be better than, 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 uh, than that one situation that Jeff put himself in! <laughs> god damn it! Son of a bitch! All right, Jack Daniels uh, surprised everyone last week when he picked up a win against, uh, God, how, how, how old is he again? 13-year vet? 
Devil? I was about to say Cyclone for some reason. <laughs> but now he has to go against... An absolute unit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vince Dust. This man is an absolute unit. I don't say that because of his outfit. I say that because holy shit, he's fucking big. Hey, big boy. Is it 16? No, it can't be 16. Well, okay, so let's see. Devil debuted in 2007. Wow, is he actually? <laughs> no, because 2017 would be his uh, 10 year. Oh shit, he actually might. Yeah, I think he has 60. Fuck, dude! <laughs> Devil's been around for that long. Damn! Fuck, he actually might. Yeah, I think he is 16. Shit, dude. Devil, the fuck, retire. What the hell did. The Vince Dust making his in ring debut, or correction, his PXC debut, going against Jack Daniels here tonight. And oh, catches him in a big clothesline. Oh, oh, sh oh shit. Oh shit. Um, uh. With this, Jack Daniels uh, actually is getting a little overpowered here. That big stomp to the face, and... Oh shit, Vince! Already showing us pure domination! Holy shit! Big power bomb. Uh oh Oh, big man going to town! Oh, okay, well, a, at least it wasn't a splash. <laughs> if it was a splash, he was fucked. <laughs> we were going to see Jack Daniels for another, like, five weeks. <laughs> man, Vince are already showing pure domination here, though. Look at this. I right, setting him up. I right, gets him up, and oh, throws him on top of our top rope. Hook him up a little bit. Gus, not Daniels. Wait, what? Gus, not Daniels. Shane and Daniels are bros since they wrestled in Japan. The broskies. No, I'm joking. Who gets a two count on Jack Dam? Man, this is actually this is night and day compared to last week. Jack had pure control of Devil last week. This time around, though, oh, Vince is uh, Vince is showing pure. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, could this could this be the rally Jack needs? Oh, god, right, big kick there. Be the chat above that. And this fucker challenged. Shane and Shane looked at him up and down and said, Fuck no. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry, that didn't pop up on uh man pop up on my actual chat. I had to read that through the stream itself. Yo, that is true. Uh, Vince did actually call out Shane first, but because uh Jack Daniels did not get placed, uh Last week, we decided to actually put these two men in a match to get them actually placed. So then we see where they actually are going to be at for the foreseeable future of PXT. That also reminds me, I should get something ready. And luckily, I can do that with this guy. <laughs> Alright, so right now, I can't see the chat, so just letting you know. I'm setting something up real quick. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Ooh. Again, I do want to... Man, I got to point this out still. <laughs> Vince, is, Vince is not giving Jack Daniels any, like... Uh-oh. And... Big power bomb! Dropping Jack Daniels down. Is that another put Jack Daniels? No. He has now put Jack Daniels out of commission. Somehow Jack is still going. And, 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 uh, and the crowd saying fight forever. Uh, I don't think they're going to because, oh, big elbow to the back again to Jack Daniels. Oh, 
Vince missing the big shot. This could this be Jack's rally? This could this be Jack's absolute rally? I'm correct. That was a. Uh, oh God, I already forgot the name of the maneuver he told us it was. I think he called it Ninja Spike, something like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Series of knee strikes to the shoulder. Oh, big shot to the back. Right now, it looks like this could be Jack's absolute shot. The comeback here. Big elbow shot. Could this, could this actually be Jack's? I swear to God, it's somehow. Oh, my God. Jack busted open the giant. <laughs> He busted open the absolute unit. I don't know how, but he busted him open. Oh, boom, big knee shot to the face. Oh my gosh, I don't know to put Vince Dust down. No, only gets a two count. Jack Daniels <laughs> didn't have a good start at the beginning, but now is getting the pure, pure offense in late game. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think he was trying to rally there, but Vince is not having it and gets him with a big... Oh, no, no, no. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, suplex into a ripcord clothesline. It looks like Vince is ready to put down Jack Daniels. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's a godly law. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And no, come to, Jack's just not done, dude. Jack's just not done. Jack is somehow still going. Oh, 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 big, big. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, springboard, big forearm. Could this, could this actually be like a forearm comeback from Jack Daniels? Oh, look at this, Jack. Oh, beautiful maneuver. Is that another put down? Vince. No, oh, Vince is still going. I gotta get props to Jack. <laughs> it looked like the match was going gonna be over a while ago, but Vin Vince is now being pushed to the absolute limit. Oh! Good reversal right there. That that's something Vince needs. Oh, but Jack's not giving him not gonna give it into him so easily. Oh! And look at that now. Stomping away. Is that not to put down Jack Daniels? No, he's still going. Man, Jack Daniels has some goddamn resilience in him. Oh, oh shit. Vince, though, lifting him up. And drops him. Oh, my God. I want to point out, this man's like a good seven foot. <laughs> so lifting up with his arm is like a good nine. Uh oh, uh oh. Looking to flip Jack Daniels on his back and a, a pretty messy Boston Crab here or Lion Tamer. And he's stretching. He is stretch. My God, dude, he's stretching him out. Holy shit. Uh, look, okay, looks like. No, Jack is still. My God, dude, the resilience of Jack Daniels. Oh, look, Jack's getting. Turns it into a submission maneuver. No, oh, not submission, a pinfall, sorry. <laughs> my God, I'm just amazed by Jack at this point. He's not giving up. <laughs> oh, big, big ass knee. <laughs> my God. I think Jack, I think Jack let Vince just do everything. Just tied himself out. Oh, wait, no. Vince dodges the big clothesline. And up again. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh! What the? Dude, Vince, what the fuck? I mean, not Vince. Jack Daniels somehow still in it. Gets out of a, a godly law. We're going to call it that because that's exactly what that maneuver is at this point. <laughs> In other words, uh, we, we must now have a discussion. <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, is that... I think Vince is thinking that might be enough to put down Jack. Oh, was going for a stop, but Jack still... Jack still... Dude, he goes for a lifting knee! What the fuck, Jack Daniels? <laughs> he is not quitting! Oh, my God, no way! Hits it! Ninja Stealth, that was the name of the maneuver. Oh, but he's too close to the ropes. And with that, Vince quickly rolls out. He hits it with the Ninja Stealth. And now goes right outside. Diamond connects it. 
Holy sh God damn, dude. God damn. What we thought was going to be an absolute squash match has turned into a pure back and forth between a giant. Oh my god, it's called the Drunk Uncle. <laughs> my god. I think Vince thought this was going to be an easy 1 2 3 victory, though, because holy shit. Hello. His finisher is called a drunk uncle. <laughs> I was going to say domestic abuse. No, <laughs> I'm not calling you that. <laughs> my God, dude, Jack is not giving in either. Holy shit. My God, big clothesline. Man, Vince had pure control of this match, but Jack is... He has... God damn, dude. He has just a fire in him. Oh, looks like Jack's going up. And goes for Boom! Big knee drop from the top. Is that another put? Vince down. One, two, three. Jack Daniels picks up the win. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen, you're a winner here tonight! <laughs> Jack Daniels! Holy shit, dude! Oh yeah, that was an absolute good match. Holy shit. So again, I also want to point out, um... Again, I forgot to up his stats. He's still at 76, and somehow he still won. <laughs> God damn, this proof overall doesn't mean shit. <laughs> God damn! Well now with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to see where Jack Daniels and Vince land. Will they land in the PXC YouTube Top Division or will they land into... Is that YouTube? <laughs> they say YouTube. PXC YouTube Top Division or the PXC Top Division. Alright. So, this is, gonna, this is gonna look weird, but pretty much just to point it out here, I got a tablet here. I have a stream there too, just to see the chat, so you guys can see my little box there. This is a little dice with a 1 and 2, we count it 10 times, or correction, we do it 30 actually. And uh, if it's a 1, it is the PXT title division, if it is a 2, it is the YouTube title division. We are going to be opening that up a little bit more exclusively, because there are new titles, which means there's going to be new divisions. But right now, it is still these two. Now with that said... Let's see where Jack Daniels lies. And with this, Jack Daniels has been placed in... I hit it. Isn't it? He has been placed into the YouTube title division, which means uh, there's a chance he could possibly face our undefeated PXT... Correction, our unpinned PXT YouTube champion, C. Jill. And with that, that means Vince has been placed into the PXT title division. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Either way, congratulations to Jack Daniels picking up... A f that, that was a literally... What's, what's the fucking story? Adam versus Goliath. That's exactly what that match was, because Jack was getting absolutely destroyed at first, and then out of nowhere, boom. All right, either way, uh, we're going to continue on with the rest of the night, because we got, I believe, three... Yeah, we got three more matches here tonight, because I uh, also didn't even name what our main event match is. Our main event match is actually what we said it was going to be, which is both the TikTok Championship and the Hardcore Championship always going to be defended every other week. So this week, it is actually going to be the Hardcore Championship match being the main event, which means D-Mob will be defending his championship against... Drum roll. Mox for the PXC Hardcore Championship. Yes, I know. That, 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 yes, I did the random thing like 30 times and Mox got picked. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now it is on to our next match. So last week, Bone Tubular did actually uh, fail on retaining his PXC championship and now is losing the opportunity to get a rematch clause for that title. So Bone pretty much said it was unfair. He wanted us to like full on be like, I deserve another title shot, da 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 da, all that stuff. Then lo and behold, who else comes into the back? The number one contender that will be facing Carlo Mendez for the PXT Championship at Carnage, Electro comes in and says, dude, you already had enough title matches. Leave the room open for newbies. 
that or leave the room and door open for the future PXC Triple Crown Champion. Bone did not uh, did not take the advice pretty well. Before things even escalated at all, I said, nah, fuck this shit. You wanna be a good-ass match though? Y'all two motherfuckers. They're like... Bone was like, deal. Lecture was just like, fuck it. <laughs> so that's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is our former PXC champion, Bone Tubular, going one-on-one -on -one against... Electro. Hello, Am. How are you doing today? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here's the thing I gotta ask y'all guys. How, how do y'all think Bone is feeling? Because here's the thing, and I do gotta point this out. Bone not only was, like, possibly the only fighting champion, the fighting PXC champion we've ever had, but he never held it for a whole month. That's one thing I do got to point out here. Technically, he is the... S no. I was going to say technically he's the second uh, shortest reigning PXT champion, but no, technically he's the third because that goes... I believe Carlo Mendez actually being the shortest. Well, no, te no technically it would be smooth. <laughs> Sadly, it'd be smooth being the shortest PXC champion, but it doesn't say there isn't an opportunity in the future. Later in the future, possibly. Now, well, here's one thing I also got to point out here, too. Mayor Marino. Uh, actually, Marino did suffer injuries due to that match. Uh, it wasn't extreme, oh, not even extreme, no, it was a false count anywhere. But no, he did suffer injuries, minor injuries. He's not going to be out for like as long as aces. So we did decide to give him the week off this week. And apparently it wasn't even just him, it was another competitor as well. I'm trying to remember who it was. I believe it was Shay. I think you got injured actually. I think that's another reason why we just had you on ringside. Bob was probably feeling good. He's the two-time PXC champion. He's the OG original. He deserves this. Jake is next in line for a title run. Then Shay. Win. <laughs> I'm assuming because the match was super, uh, I don't know exactly what happened in the match, but apparently it put you out of commission. Uh, but that's why, if anything, you were just on ringside, you didn't compete tonight in San Diego Marino. In other words, they're minor injuries, they're just off for a week, they will be back next week. And they will be a Pixie Carnage! <laughs> Now, here's the thing, though. So, Shane, you do have a point there. The thing is, though, Bone has actually never faced someone like Electro. Now, thinking about this, Electro is a, tri a former Triple Crown champion. I gotta say former because he hasn't done it here. Yeah, my gut could have hurt from the amount of stomps to the gut. Yeah, he fucking he did not like you, man. He just wanted to stomp on you. Oh, look at this. Oh, Electro was going fired. He was going full on fired in, but no, Bone just uh, gave, him, gave him a receipt, if you will. This is actually your first time ever seeing Bone and Electro in a one-on-one -on -one match. They were in an actual number one contendership. Well, no, actually. No, no, no. Bone was in the... Yeah, Bone was in the bankrupt match. He was in the number one contendership match. That's right. Oh, holy shit. Springboard kick. Or, I guess the disaster kick, really. Right now, Bone had full control. Electro looking to switch those odds right now. Give himself a fighting chance. And now, oh, getting thrown over the top rope. And now Bone just has full control of this. What's up? Hello, how are you doing today? Welcome to PXT. Juan Morales in a new, what? New match after his debut. I'd love to see more of him. Be honest, more of Mason and Castle. That is true. They will be facing off in Carnage. Wait, what's going on here? Are we, are we getting a count out here from Electro, the former Triple Crown champion? Look at that. That, oh, that was Electro actually taunting him about losing, technically, technically losing to Rodrigo by count out. I think that's what Electro was doing there. I think he was saying, saying a little bit of shade there to Bone. 
Oh, look at this electrode. Not, not allowing Bone to, like, fully take off completely. Bone was taking off at the very beginning, but not so much now. Now Electro just working on the neck, if you will. Yay. That's right. That's right. I saw it. I saw it, Morse. I said it too, because that, that's exactly what happened right there. Oh, already go. Okay. He already had an electric talon. One. Oh, but Bone, super close to the ropes, realizes it too. A oh, correction. Sorry. That was a lightning talon. He has an electric and he has a lightning. That was lightning. <laughs> That's the electric! Here it is! One! Two! Ooh! My god, he already, he already, he already did a number to his head. <laughs> that was a lightning talent straight up out of nowhere, and that was an electric straight up out of nowhere. Now Bone again going for his padded- Oh! Wheelbarrow into a DDT! Now- Oh! Yeah, big good- Big uh, uh, nut shot? Nut shot? I don't know what to call that. <laughs> Bone had full control at the beginning, but now, oh, Electrobes is taking advantage. I'm gonna call you Morse. I'm gonna call you Morse. Would you like to join PX2? We have many people like me. Yep. We have a ton of people in here. Oh, okay, and again, our outside dive curse continues here. <laughs> But yes, as Shane said, we do. Uh, our doors are open completely with PXC. So if you do play W2K23 and you do have a car wrestler, a creative wrestler, uh, you can actually contact us. We'll be able to like situate the whole thing. We'll see what we can do. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh, Bone, Bone is looking to rally against the former Triple Crown champion. Oh, Bone going for it. Bone Crusher! And yes, I know, I keep fucking up the name. It is actually supposed to be Bone Crusher. One! Two! Only gets a two count. Oh, look at this. The crowd. Apparently, the crowd is saying they're not worthy. And Electro hitting, getting Bone with a big clothesline. And now Electro has full control and gets it with a ripcord clothesline. Lightning Talon to the former PXC champion. Is that enough to put Bone down? No, Bone is still going. The crowd saying one more time. The crowd is chanting one more time. I was going for a stomp. It's got, oh, beautiful suplex. Oh, look at that. Turning, beautiful, beautiful bridge. Look at it again. Looking to get the victory over Electro here. Oh, yeah, I think we can tell Bone is getting a little desperate, though, because Bone really doesn't try going for those type of moves. So he tries, like, stealing a victory here. Look at this. Oh, beautiful maneuver right there. And now, oh, misses the electric talent and gets caught into a super kick. Oh, look at this. Bone. Hey, Bone Crusher into the pin. Is that another put down Electrobe? No, Electrobe is still going. Oh, look at this. Former Triple Crown champion rolling out. Bone. Bone's feeling it. Bone's feeling it and goes high fly and connects to Electrobe. Hunter, when in the edited version of this episode, please tell them to contact me and Rocky since D-Mob is having trouble. Gotcha. Yeah, if anything, we, I think, yeah, I gotta get Rocky's info because I think I have yours for the edited version. Ooh, big gut shot there. Want to point out we are at a count of five on the ring out count. Stomp on the arm there. And I, oh, beautiful switchblade, but turned into a dropkick. We are at a count of seven, ladies and gentlemen. Bone sending Electro back into the middle of the ring. Bone getting Electro up. 
Another beautiful sling blade into a beautiful drop kick. And right now, the former Triple Crown champion. Think Bone, think Bones, thinking what he needs to do. What he has to do to put down. Electro, oh, Electro dodging the big maneuver. And, oh, catches him in the electric talent. Is that enough? One, two, no, Bone is still going. Holy shit. Oh, look at this. What's. Oh, now attacking the arm there. Oh! I think Electro got a little bit too excited there. And now gets caught in a. I guess, is this standing shooting star? Oh, this is the second one. Oh, big drop kick. Man, I got, you got, I, there's one thing I got to point out here is that <laughs> Electro is actually really dangerous with those kicks now. Holy shit. People wondering, uh, you guys can read the chat because that is true. Uh, what Shane just said, if you guys want any, oh, what's, oh, oh, Electro, oh, that's a first catching bone and drops it down for a power bomb. Oh, it gets caught another, my God, this man has a concussion. <laughs> this man has a concussion at this point. And with that, Electro just pinned the former two time PXD champion. Holy fuck, dude. So many kicks. The electric talon. The, the, I think he got hit with three lightning talons. Electro showing his dominance. And showing. And no matter who it is, he is possibly going to be our future PXT champion. Holy shit, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, apparently I have just gotten word that next week Satoshi is going to unveil two new associates into the syndicate. Do we have any word on who it is? Don't, 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 Jerry, don't leave me hanging like that for five minutes and just tell me no. No, fuck, you fired. Okay, there you go. All right, so with that said, we are going on to the next match. So, last week, Desmond Flood went one-on-one -on -one against Gen X and full-on destroyed the man. But not really destroyed him. More like he sent... He made Gen X go, like, to the absolute limit. And Gen X, like, legit went to the absolute limit. But it still was not enough because Desmond Flood picked up the victory. Rodrigo was in the back. Because we did a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. Uh, pretty much the first thing we decided to ask Rodrigo was the whole infamous Ring Out Count championship match. Rodrigo, at this point, said that in his career, he wants to be at least a Grand Slam champion. Now, for people who don't know what Grand Slam champion is, that means at least hold each and every title at least once. And he's already held the PXC championship. He's already the inaugural first ever PXC champion, which is already like the biggest achievement from anybody, which is true. Secondly, he will be etched in as the first. But that said, he seeks his sights on newer prey, possibly even a white viper. But well, when that was said, the lights went out. Uh, Desmond just popped him out of nowhere. Uh, was just right next to him. Rodrigo popped straight up, stared him straight in the face. And uh, lights went out again. Boom, there you go. Uh, he was out. So I took it as a challenge. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Rodrigo going one on one against Desmond Flood. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time ever that we are about to see here. It is Rodrigo going one-on-one -on -one against Desmond Flood. Rodrigo is our inaugural PXC champion. He is the first ever PXC champion in history. And he already loves being known just for that. So now he seeks his sight on possibly becoming 
the first ever Grand Slam champion. What does that mean? That means he wants to hold every title now. He's already held the biggest. It is switched up. I will say that. In other words, uh, it is not who we discussed. And uh, I that is already going to be said on our next episode, which next episode of PXT will be happening on Thursday. Thursday is going to be actually at five again. The reason we did it this time around is because uh, we switched light companies. In other words, I can only go live for a good two hours before uh, they start racking up the fucking bill. And um, yeah, weekends are free. So in other words, that's why we decided to do it at 7 uh, p.m. tonight because uh, after seven during the weekends, I can go as long as possible on stream. So now, <laughs> All I'm going to say is that I am I am excited on who is in the Syndicate. I think it's going to be uh, interesting. Outside story-wise. Outside story-wise. Mm. Now back to, the, back to what's happening in front of us here. This is going to be a first, actually, because the only person to match Rodrigo's like, actual like power was Bugrip. This is somebody that can match the power, but also somebody that can set fear into his opponents. Now, th that's the big question here. Is Desmond Flood gonna be able to like intimidate Rodrigo like at all? Cause as far as we know, Rodrigo don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm trying to see the tablet thing. Again. Oh yeah, tablet's working. Oh, well, this is right there. There you go. I can shut this guy up. There you go. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, he would have been really good in there. Or would he have? Does he have bigger plans? Like title shot. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we'll never know. Not until next week. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is another man who has the same... I don't say same title. Only reason I say same title is because technically it is true. Though, he's actually never been defeated. Yes, Desmond Flood is 100% undefeated, actually. He hasn't lost in PXT at all. So he does have one over uh, his opponent at Carnage, C. Jill. God damn, that match is actually going to be pretty interesting because both men have something on the line. One is if he's undefeated. The other is if... Yeah, shit, he is undefeated. Holy fuck, dude. Desmond Flood, 100% undefeated here in PXC. That is insane. Big God, he is terrifying. He really is. Like I said, honestly, I, this is where Carnage is going to be interesting because see, Jill is going to be locked in a cage with this man. But then not just that, he's going to be locked in a cage with the White Viper of Russia. In other words, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen at fucking Carnage. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be fucking interesting, man. Could we be seeing the man to finally pin C. Jill here? Or will C. Jill finally defeat Desmond? Well, that's that's if what happens here tonight. <laughs> because if somehow, somewhere, Rodrigo just fucking defeats Desmond, that whole aura is gone. <laughs> it is both men show pure fire, but again, as always, Rodrigo gets the first shot, but doesn't get to keep the advantage. Both men having power over the other, but it looks like Desmond is having a little bit more over Rodrigo. 
Look at that, just working on the neck there. Hello, welcome to the live stream, welcome to PXT. Right now we are watching Rodrigo going one-on-one -on -one against the undefeated Desmond Flood here in PXT. Rodrigo not only not only looking just uh probably just defeat Desmond Flood in general, but looking to probably etch his way to probably facing CG. How's your day? My I was oh, hey, okay. My my had a decent day. Oh, Desmond, are you getting advantage and now? Oh, 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 Rodrigo, not getting cut. Me? <laughs> not getting cut there, and again, oh, oh, okay, that weird ass maneuver from Desmond Flood. What, I, one thing I'll get Desmond is that, don't get me wrong, he has his aura around him, but he does the strangest fucking moves. Might think that sort of works with him, not thinking about it. A big punch in the head. Rodrigo, oh! I'll give it to him. Oh, look at this, Rodrigo's <laughs> looking to probably wear him down a bit here. And now Rodrigo's going at a little big hit, slow pace. And now I get Desmond, oh, doing doing the strange offense he does. The slingshot close, is that actually a slingshot close line? God damn. I call it weird only because he like does it, but then he like does a weird ass turn with it. Oh, that's, oh, that's a, that's actually a former move of Rodrigo's. <laughs> the discus clothesline to Rodrigo, and no, I want to point out Desmond has had full control of this match against the Blue Menace. Rodrigo has done some strange comebacks in the past, but he's going against someone like Desmond Flood. Ooh, big elbow shot. Oh, look at this, Desmond going for a crossface, looking to tap out the former PXC champion here. But Rodrigo, not gonna go for it here tonight. And now, oh, gets him with a shoulder tackle. Is, I was thinking about giving it to Flo, but I gave it to Big. Oh, no, nah, I got you. Oh! Oh, look at this, Rodrigo taunting away at Desmond, but Desmond's not going to take it and hits him with a springboard. Stunner! Now Desmond going to the top. Oh, no. De okay, Desmond's playing games here, if you will. It's already going up for a snap suplex. I guess it's a suplex, really. <laughs> you guys say snap because usually it was like... Now sends, oh, Rodrigo flying, and Rodrigo's going to the outside, probably looking to get a little bit of advantage on the outside here. And now Rodrigo, oh, big shot to the chest of Desmond Flood, and right now stomping on the back of his head, Rodrigo now getting a little bit of control back in the match, but Desmond's not allowing him to take control too much. I believe we had two more matches. I believe that, or this is... No, this is the second match, so actually the main event is uh, coming up, actually. I think after this. We're at a count of five. Rodrigo, oh! Drops Desmond Flood down. Oh, gets him up. And now gonna go for a big power slam! Guys, we are at a count of seven. Ooh, big shot there. We are at a count of eight, ladies and gentlemen. Desmond Flood, quickly. Oh, quickly breaking up the count on Rodrigo. Counting on it. Now taking advantage. Oh, trying to take advantage. Doesn't get it, though. Man, De every time Rodrigo goes for a lockup, Desmond is just a lot faster. Oh, look at this. Goes for the... Waterboard? Do we call that water? No, we should not call that waterboard. <laughs> that was the flooding grass. There you go, we'll call it that. <laughs> it's a lot better than the other one I had. <laughs> I'm going for the flooding grasp. Wasn't enough. This is actually the first time we're seeing Rodrigo 
Not having full control. Man, there's a lot of first times tonight. Again, the stall. Another st Again, I always call it an odd maneuver from Desmond because it's just, you don't see someone like his size doing these type of moves. And, oh, oh, wait, Rodrigo coming back at it. Rodrigo getting out of that maneuver and now, oh, okay, don't know what Rodrigo is planning there. Oh, but Desmond getting Rodrigo up over his shoulders and dropping him over the top rope. Or onto the top rope. I hate when they did that shit because I never know what to say. <laughs> dropping him down on the top rope. Drowning in the flood about there. How about that? Drowning in the flood? Yeah. Why do we call this clothesline drowning in the deep? Well, yeah. Yeah, drowning in the flood. That works. <laughs> call what drowning in the deep, drowning in the flood. You know, it works. <laughs> now, working on the leg here. Man, like I said, this is actually a first. We've never seen Rodrigo not have full control of a match. Because even with Smooth Marino last week, he it was a back and forth. This is actually very one-sided. But Desmond doesn't hold back either. And Rodrigo getting him with a gun wrench suplex. Desmond quickly getting back up. Throws him. Oh, Rodrigo missing the shot. Rodrigo trying to get him set up. Oh, for a big power slam. This is B. Rodrigo's shot. Could this be Rodrigo's shot? Oh, was trying to go for the spear, but quickly gets out of the way. Hello, welcome to PXT. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, Rodrigo. He, Rodrigo gets out of it, too. And now lifting up the seven footer. My God. Okay, well, these guys are giving a fucking match right now. <laughs> He's doing stuff with the airflow. Yeah, yeah, we'll call it drowning in the flood. That works. Ooh. Now Rodrigo is getting fired up. I think Rodrigo didn't like the idea of him getting absolutely <laughs> well dominated. Dominated. Yeah, we're gonna say dominated. Again, welcome to the live stream. We're seeing the undefeated Desmond Flood going against. Oh, Rodrigo! Rodrigo has been busted open by it with a bulldog. Well, damn. Yeah. Oh, big clothesline right there. Well, though Rodrigo gets busted open, it actually fires him up a little bit more than anything. <laughs> oh, good neck breaker there. Here on the count of six, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. Oh, look at this. Both men, both men were eyeing each other down. And again, Desmond Flood wins the exchange. We're at count of eight. Oh, Desmond gets it. Uh, I think Desmond thought Rodrigo was not going to be... Oh! Up for it to get back in. Oh, but Desmond quickly rolls out. Rodrigo follows. Though so drags Desmond back in, not wanting to give him a second. Here you go. Probably setting something up with Desmond, but no. Desmond was already full on awake. Oh, getting the advantage, going for the pin, but Rodrigo's legs is under the rope. Try to win by count out. That's crazy. Honestly, <laughs> you should have seen a couple weeks ago, Rodrigo actually lost his, uh, well, not lost, he won. He won the match. <laughs> it was for a title, though, by ring out. I don't know what Rodrigo's planning here. I don't know what he was planning there. Oh, oh, dodge the quick shot of Desmond. Oh, big DDT right there. Well, one point XT. Yeah. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, Desmond looking to put down the blue menace with the with the flood. Is that enough? One. Oh, well, it was so good. I forgot my controller was a thing. I want to point out whenever this happens, it is because I'm so like in like into the match. So just want to point it out. And with that, Desmond Flood continues his undefeated streak here in PXT and puts down a former PXT champion. God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, but either way, it is uh, now on to our main event. Uh, we have two ch titles in PXT. Uh, well, technically, not just two titles. We have more. But we have two titles that work in this fashion. We have the TikTok Championship and the Hardcore Championship that will be defended every other week. Last week, Jacob Just a Wildfire defended his championship against Jake Lawler. I also want to point out with both these championships, the opponent will always be random. In other words, it is open fight night every single time for these titles. Because we didn't really have a good idea for the main event, we decided to throw this one at the main event. So, for the main event here, it is for the PXC Hardcore Championship, D-Mob versus Mox. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is an Extreme Rules match for the PXC Hardcore Championship. And it will be decided in one fall. That is true. So if anything, we could possibly see, we could possibly see that. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to see if Mox can do what his partner was able to do and become the second man to be a multi-title holder. Oh, dude, that would have been insane if fucking Rocky actually beats Jill for the YouTube title and then this shit happens because they both could have had double time. Fuck! That would have been so good! Mox is one half of the PXT Tag Team Champions. He was randomly selected to face off against Dima for the PXT Hardcore Championship. Rocky the fuck no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually gonna be pretty interesting because if he if Mox somehow actually wins this, that'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> On who this is, match four and about the storytelling or random. This is a randomness. So we have two titles, both the TikTok Championship and the PXC Hardcore Championship. The way these titles work is that every other week they will be defended randomly. In other words, it's technically going to be an open challenge and we randomly select a random superstar and they will be the opponent for that championship. But these titles are only defended every other week. So last week the TikTok Championship was defended. This week it is the PXC Hardcore Championship. Hunter can back me up on the voice part. Wait, what? No voice part. What <laughs> Mox is one half of the PXT Tag Team Championships. Normally we were going to have a tournament for the tag team titles, but because of our last big show, PXT Abyss, which was a full-on wild card match, we thought it was the perfect time to at least say, screw it, let's crown a new PXT champion. <laughs> <laughs> or two new PXC champions. Well, we've got a lot of PXC champions out of this. <laughs> but um, the tag team championships will be defended at Carnage. Uh, we just don't know who will be facing off for them. It will either be the team of Shane and Jack Flo, the Outcast, or Super versus or Super and Titan, the Nation of Domination. I don't know what it voice sounds like as long as we're having fun. Yeah! My voice sucks. <laughs> Nima, the inaugural PXT Hardcore Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, he is one half of the PXC Tag Team Champions, Mox! And his opponent, he is the inaugural PXC Hardcore Champion, the icon of Hardcore, D-Mob! <laughs> yeah, 
it's talking a very late. How dare you? <laughs> I know it's funny too, because right before the match, we saw you like looking for group two. <laughs> I was like, how dare you? <laughs> that was funny. I was just like, ah, he's good. Destiny's out. Oh, that's that one new. That one sounds new because I haven't heard of that name yet. By the way, Mox going one away. Oh, gets caught with a big knee from D Mob. So, Mox is the randomly selected superstar to go against D Mob for the PXT Hardcore Championship. And this is actually pretty fitting because he he didn't do. Oh, that's a crowd shaming? Uh, the crowd was sharing something. I ain't hear what it was, though. <laughs> Very new. It's all right. All right. I got to check it out. One day. No. Mox. Oh, look at this. Mox already going for the steel set. Where is he going with it? Mox. You good? I know I know you're a little crazy, but anything. Okay. This brings his steel steps and immediately goes for the punch. <laughs> Even D Bob was confused. <laughs> Box is just throwing D Bob for a loop. He doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> the unorthodox style of Box when it comes to hardcore matches is showing right here. Because <laughs> even D Bob's like, the fuck? Why, why he just get in and out for those? Is he gonna use them? <laughs> oh, but D Bob throwing his. A ring veteran, if you will, and against the still steps and catches Mox face first with it. But Mox not down. Oh, D Mob didn't even realize it. Gets caught in a leg sweep. Now this this is the funny thing. If Mox wins here, he is the second man to have two two titles ever in PXT. The first man to be crowned uh, a double champion, at least, was actually Rocky Macado, who we actually have not seen in a while. We actually got we, we should we should actually like see. And the contact Iraqi after a while. I don't know what's been what's been going on with Mercado. We gotta see. Ooh, big big shot right there. This is this actually could be big for Bo oh, box <laughs> again the unorthodox style of box. Okay, nice. How much are you getting paid? Uh. <laughs> Now, uh, we don't do, well, right now at least, because PXD's still starting up. Uh, th there's no, like, that stuff yet. It's mainly just for fun. <laughs> Look at this, Mox setting up. <laughs> Mox like, setting up a ladder. I, I love how Mox is just setting up shit, and it's just throwing D-Mob for a loop. <laughs> oh, there's, ooh! Beautiful suplex right there. Was that Exploder? I would believe that would be more of an Exploder. Because it was that quick. Both men, uh... <laughs> I think D-Bob's just trying to figure out what Box is like, like in the ring. But... Oh, wait, wait! Oh, okay! Box already had Asylum and goes for it! One! Two! Okay, only gets a two count off oh, the Hardcore Champion. And the crowd already chanting them to fight forever. Oh, okay. Uh, it sounded like it hit D-Mob, but D-Mob is practically like a Superman when it comes to hardcore matches. And look at this. In honor of the late, great Eddie Guerrero. The three amigos. And goes straight for the pin. There is the rope breaks here. One, two. Only gets a two count. I will pay you the money you don't pay me if you give the outcast the tongue. <laughs> Hey man, it depends what happens next week. Ooh, big gut shot, and D Mob's already going straight at it. D Mob's already going straight at it, and oh, oh, bridge into a pit one. Only gets a one count there though. D Mob, <laughs> Mox field the ring with still steps, and now D Mob's thinking he needs them. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Box. Going for a submission maneuver on D-Mob. D-Mob, uh, I don't think we're going to see... Yeah, no, D-Mob's still, like, newish here. He hasn't tapped out at all. I don't think we probably see that from D-Mob in a while, because D-Mob's... He is pretty resilient. Oh, that, oh, oh, busted open. Mox, is that enough? One, two, no. Only gets a two count off. A PXD psychopath, if you will. Psychopath, crazy guy. I'm gonna call him psychopath, because he just does some crazy sh No, yeah, I'll just call him crazy guy. <laughs> oh, big forearm from the top. But Mox is just getting up like nothing. <laughs> Ooh. Big shot to the face of Mox, and now, oh, I think D-Mob was trying to go for an old-fashioned stunner there, but Mox wasn't having it, neither is D-Mob, and neither is Mox, both men, <laughs> just reversing each other left and right. I miss any matches. You missed a lot of matches, because <laughs> this is the main event. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh! Goes with a rebound, clothesline. Oh, my God. D-Mob's actually down. This is a first. <laughs> we Like, this soon, I mean. Because usually, like, what was it? Was it actually last week? Yeah, last week. D-Mob, uh, no, it wasn't last week. Was it last week? I'm legit trying to remember what happened last week. <laughs> no, yeah, it was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, D-Mob, uh... Oh. One. Chill. Mox kicks out. Who fought? Well, the Unholy has fully been revealed. It is the team of Michael Wolf and all oh, those went old-fashioned on Mox. Is that enough to attain the PXC Hardcore Championship? No, Mox kicks out. What the fuck? The Unholy has been unveiled. It is Michael Wolf, Jacob, Tristan Wildfire, and Devil. But we had just got news earlier tonight that the Syndicate has new two new associates and they will not be revealed until next week mox oh honestly i think mox is somehow getting an advantage on d-mob here only because he his style is very like what <laughs> But not just that, he is a good techni technician fighter as well. So is D-Mob, actually, because I believe both men are actual uh, technician fighters. If I'm correct on that, I could be wrong. Right now, Mox, I gotta get props to Mox. He's actually doing pretty well against D-Mob here tonight. And it looks like he's ready to set up for possibly, possibly a new title raid, if you will. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, what the hell was that? That was actually new. I don't know what that was. One, two. Oh, D-Mob quickly kicks out. Yeah, Flo lost on his 10 at anniversary. <laughs> oh, look at that. I was trying to hit him with the still steps. D-Mob stopping it, though. Got him. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I was Mox still alive? At least his ass. I don't know. It looked like it hurt. That was some sort of reverse DDT. Yeah, my God. That's actually new. I haven't seen him ever pop that out. One, two, three. Mox! Oh, my God! What the fuck? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new... <laughs> PXT Hardcore Champion Max. By a chop block, I know. <laughs> I just did the count. I was like, what? Box has <laughs> Uh, well, that means we gotta change the tag team name at this point. We gotta change the tag team name at this point. <laughs> Cause the tag team here is a part of, they are the only two men to ever hold double titles. Now, Rocky McConnell did lose his title to the former YouTube champion, uh, C. Jill, but God, that's a sign, dude. That's a fucking sign at this point. Holy shit. My
All right now, let's see what the, we're going to just read. We're going to call these like PXD aftermaths at this point. Reading just that <laughs> scene. Let's see. Uh, oh my god, you said we may need to change the tag name of Mox and Rocky, and then I said after carnage because we don't know what could happen. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and not Adam and Goliath, it's da David and Goliath. Okay, gotcha. That, I couldn't remember the guy. There was no tag for this episode. Yes, I know. Well, because I think we only have like... Well, now with the Unholy and the Syndicate, I think that's five tag teams we have now? Yeah, with the Syndicate joining in, we only have five tag teams. So that's where uh, that's where we didn't have a tag team match this time around. We will talk about it. Talk about what? Okay. Who will that be in Discord for us? Yes. Okay. No offense, but this is for me, Rocky and Hunter only. How dare you? That's it. I want to do Discord. Okay. Rocky for Friday in the playlist. You're welcome. Boys. There you go. We're gonna call that just the aftermath. <laughs> but yeah, no, this has been PXT, guys. Uh, thank you guys for coming on in, uh, whether it was live recorded either or. Uh, we should have the live episode up. I want to say a lot much sooner because uh, I'm off tomorrow too. I'm going to be working on that episode. Um, now, when that episode goes live, that's an excellent question. <laughs> um, because, like I said, I'm probably going to upload it when I have everything situated with the Discord server. Because um, I don't want like what happened with Ninja <laughs> happening this time around. <laughs> to where, overload! You know what I mean? So, well, I think that will probably happen regardless. But either way. Because uh, I do want to try making it more uh, community-based. Because I think right now it's very... It's just, like, very heavily on... Uh, PXT, which is fine, but at the same time, I would like to have people just come on in, hang out when they can hang out. So I gotta see what I can else I can add. But either way, uh, this has been Sackle Hunter. Hooters, what do you mean? Hooters? Dude, did you just go, did you just call Shade Hooters? <laughs> Nothing, <Dwa. laughs> God damn it. Alright, I've been Sackle Hunter. This has been PXT. Peace out, take care, have a great night, guys.